So Ollie, welcome back to Chesterfield Football Club. How does it feel to once again be a spy ride? Oh, it feels good. Um, I've always said I'd love, love to return and um, it's nice to get it done and, and be back. Obviously Paul was the manager when you were here last time. Uh, back here again, obviously first day pre-season training must have been quite a, quite a return. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always, first day is always tough. Um, you can try and prepare yourself over summer, but it's uh, it's always a bit of a shock. But it's nice to be back and uh, nice to get back into it. You've got some great EFL experience since leaving Chesterfield at Tranmere and Barrow. What those stints at those clubs kind of taught you? Uh, well, I'm hoping I can I can bring a bit of experience. I'm getting a little bit older now than when I was here before. I was I was only a young lad, obviously, when I was here last. But hopefully, bring a, a bit of experience and um, got a, a really really good group of group of players and we need to get back where we should be. Obviously you joined Chesterfield from non-league first time out, back in non-league, what are you expecting from the National League? Obviously it's quite a difficult league. It is a difficult league, there's a lot of a lot of good teams, a lot of big clubs, a lot of, a lot of good players but we, uh, we've got one aim and that's to get back into League Two and we've, we're not going to make any excuses and as a group, as a club that's, that's where we that's where we should be and we've all got to get together and make that happen. And a stat that you possibly might not be aware of, your debut at Chesterfield will be your 100th appearance as well, so a little milestone to yeah. go along with the debut. I, I was slightly aware, because obviously when I left, I left on 99 games and I, I was a bit gutted that I'd never got to that, to that point, but um, hopefully come the first game of the season I'll get the 100th. And this season has seen some fantastic support from the Spyrites, both home and away. How much are you looking forward to seeing them again and seeing this fantastic support that they bring? I wouldn't expect anything less, if I'm honest, that my, my three, three, years, three or four years I was at the club. Um, I expect nothing less. Home and away, they're a, a brilliant set of fans and they, we need to give them something to cheer about. And, they expect hard work and they expect results and that's what we'll hopefully we'll give them. And how much is a couple of familiar faces helping you settle back into the into the club? Yeah, it's always nice. Um, <laughs> I was actually saying to my wife last night, I don't, I don't feel as nervous as what I do joining a different club or somewhere I've not been before. So it, it was nice to, to come back to a club I'm, I'm familiar with and obviously the gaffer and Gary Roberts and played against a few of the lads so it's, it, it's easier to settle in. And finally, do you have a message for the Spyrites? Uh, just get behind the lads, um, continue giving the fantastic support and hopefully we can get where we, uh, we need to be.